players and I just uh, set it to the opposite of games played just to be a little bit of a surprise. Anyway, I was going to try to I was going to try to um, get get to the prospect stats, but uh, it simulated one day further than I wanted it to. So whatever, I had to start with the video. So whatever. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, let's take a look at these retired players. So we got Shane Doan, Ron Hainsey, John Michael Wiles, Dan Cleary, Derek England, just uh, Alex Tangay. I'll just read anything with over a thousand games. Uh, Dan Dan Briere, Brad Stewart, uh, Matt Michael Hanzus, <laughs> and Sergey Gonchar, uh, Scott Gomez, Matt Col Matt Col okay Matt Colin retired. Damn it. Okay, so and then Chris Phillips off of Ottawa. Uh, Ray Whitney, or Ray or why? Ray, okay. Uh, Al Jokinen, I'm just Jokinen with you. Chris Neal, Dan Dana Zubris, and Scott Hannon. Uh, Eric Brewer, Red, I don't know, no, not Red. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. <coughs> you have to cut that off. Okay. Sorry about that, I sneezed like super loud, so I had to cut that off, so. Anyway, let's just take a look at any other notable names, any free agents. Uh, Corey Sarich, but that's it. Goalies, we'll just read all of them. <laughs> Robbie Lou. Bobby Lou, retired. Nicholas Backstrom. Tim Thomas. Nick, the Cavi, bo the Bullen Wall. Uh, Johan Holmkist. Mika Noronen, and David A. Vischer. So... Yep, that's your retired players. Uh, okay. Thank you for stopping. Okay, what? Real quick, I want to make sure that I want to see if. Uh, oops, wrong button. I want to see if uh, there's anybody l worth looking at because this is year two, so there's not a lot of high overall players. But like when it gets gets into the later years, you can like uh, sort by where is it minutes minutes. You can sort by minutes, and then there will be a couple of uh, seventy. Like Josh Thor, he's seventy two overall, but. Uh, there's another 70, 70 overall player, but as I said, there's, it's just a ton of 50 overall players. It's not like it's not really something I'd be worth live. <laughs> it would be worth looking at, not yet at least. I'm probably gonna start doing it next year, but not yet. So let's see. We won the Stanley Cup, so excuse me. Let's see what's in that range for us. So we could get uh, Samuel Gerard, Thomas Licht. Uh, Fabian Heldner, maybe a defenseman like Gerard or Heldner or something like that. Heimler was 74 overall, and that's a center. That would be a nice player to pick up, but we'll have to see. So uh, I can actually look at what picks we have right now, but uh, I think we're good for right now. Uh, okay, there. Wait, 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 wait. Sir, players on the block. There we go. Um. Okay. I don't like looking going all the way up here. Can you? Oh, okay. Cool. You can page up. So we don't have a first round pick for this year, actually. So. <clears throat> We're gonna have to settle for that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so I'm not getting called about players that I don't care about. <clears throat> Sorry, my, my my throat's still a little sore. Okay, begin NHL entry draft. So yep, we don't have a fourth. Uh, you don't have a um, a first round pick because we traded it to Philly in that Claude Giroux trade. So. And then we we do have a second round pick, but we're gonna have to wait until then. So we'll have to see what we can get with the sixtieth pick. I'm not making any trades. We don't need to. So, so Gerard, Sam, St Sam Steele. Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Let me write this down. I forgot to get my phone so I can get a picture of this. Okay, hold on a sec. So, first Carolina gets Rod or whatever his name is. Gerard. Columbus gets Sam Steele. Timpano goes to Detroit. I'm just gonna write down the top ten real quick. Tim <coughs> Pano and Kreisky goes to Calgary. Kreisky and Sean Day goes to Buffalo. I wonder if Tyler Benson's still <laughs> uh, 48 overall. Okay, anyway, let's get to actually picking up a pit player. Second round. Okay, so we got the 60th overall pick. Is our first pick in the 2015 draft, so let's see what we can get here. 19-year-old defensive defenseman Chad Red uh, Chaz Redekop. What does he look like overall-wise? 
Uh, his defense is okay. He's got a good shot. Let's see what else there is. Right wing power forward. That's a nice player, but we we kind of need an offensive player, honestly, for the top line. And I don't really care for power forwards because they... Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, two-way forward is 20, though. He's 20 as well, but... Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, his name. Austin Playfair. <laughs> These names are so funny sometimes. I wonder if this is a creative player. Uh, yeah, the guy's got a good shot. At least powerful. It's not very accurate. <laughs> face-offs. His face-offs aren't that great. I'm assuming it's probably the 60, so... Uh, Keegan Reynolds, Pirtle. Any goalies? Okay, there's a couple goalies. Johnston, Samuel, Mont Montpetit. Uh, this guy's 18. I'd prefer to take an 18-year-old over a 19-year-old. Uh, Chaz or Decop, Uh Four gold stars. Uh, well, it's probably four gold stars, but... Okay, I'll take this guy. Antoine, Samuel, Samuel. <laughs> Samuel or whatever his name is. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Will Bitten. He's only 17 years old, so that's a upside, but uh, nothing on him. Anything else? Alexander True. <laughs> Kaisler. The man without a country. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Power forward, two way defender. I don't I don't have anything on any of these guys, so Ethan Bear, he gets he is pretty good actually, I think. Can I go back to the trade screen and see yeah, okay, good, I can. So can I risk n passing up Ethan Bear? Seven picks ahead, so this would be twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, so uh <laughs> center playmaker but the defense you know I won't I, I, I like this guy I'll take Ethan Bear <laughs> uh, okay I'm probably gonna regret that but whatever Justin Brack Travis Verveda is two-way defenseman he's 19 he doesn't look that bad <coughs> <coughs> excuse me Dimitru Dimitru <laughs> what the heck that's a Canadian name <laughs> So right wing sniper, that would be nice to pick up. We don't have a sniper on our team. <laughs> right wing grinder, Jesse Roach. <laughs> so annoying, he'll be a roach to you the whole time. I don't really care for grinders much more than I care for power forwards, but uh, we'll have to see. Ryan Graham, and then Nathan Mortlock. <laughs> uh, what does this guy look like? Nathan Mortlock. Mortlock, Mortlock. <clears throat> oh, he, he looks actually really good. You know what, I'm going to go... <laughs> Way off the menu, and I'm going to pick up this Nathan Mortlock guy. Okay. Fourth round, we got the 21st and the 30th picks. Uh, David Sherman, Kyle Moore. I'm not looking at these guys because I probably don't have anything on them. Uh, Keegan Colasar, right wing, power forward, 19 years old. No, 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 not him. Uh, Jesse Shinkrook. Probably four red stars. Jesse Shinkrock. He doesn't look that bad. He looks like a good skater. 90 for agility. 80 for... I'll have to see. That's a, that's actually a player I wouldn't mind going after. But uh, David Sherman. I don't want a power forward. Right, Two-way forward. Two-way forward. Power forward. Left wing playmaker. And I'll take the center playmaker. <laughs> and actually I probably should have just waited, but, uh, so Paquette, Bizen, Bizen, Alexander 14, but I just drafted a center, so I probably will go, go with this guy. Paquette, pa Paquette, Bison? <laughs> I just, I hate Canadian, I hate, uh, French Canadian names. So we got the first and the 30th pick in the set, the, <laughs> get the first and the last pick in the fifth round, so let's see what we can get with it. Alexander 14, Hayden McCool, <laughs> Grzelewski, Grizzlewski, Grizzlewski, what? <laughs> I hate these names. Gordon Banham, right wing sniper. Got any goalies? No. 
There's that threat though guy I could probably pick up, but uh, we'll see. 14, McCool, Grizzlewski, Banham. There's 19, any 18 year olds? No, they're all 19. Yeah, I'll take this Banham guy. I don't have any scouting report on any of these people, so we'll have to see. Ghoul. Okay, many brain right wing sniper. I just got a sniper though, so uh, defensive defenseman. I don't like the I don't like defensive defensemen because they take a shitload of penalties. But uh, he's actually got decent defense, so I'm not. I wouldn't be totally opposed to that. Uh, right wing grinder. <clears throat> and no, uh, no, no, no. And who else is in between? We got a left wing two way forward, a two way defender. It's twenty though. That's what I like about Ghoul. He's a uh, younger. I'll take this guy, Brendan Ghoul. Okay. Uh, okay, we missed our Dawson Cardi. <laughs> uh, Jason Bell, two a defender. He's 19. P uh, right wing playmaker, Patrick Verda. Right wing, two a forward. Uh, Matt, offensive defenseman. I, I, I do like offensive defensemen. <laughs> I love offense defenseman. He's, he actually looks decent for defense, although that's a yellow, so that could be uh, significantly different than what it actually is. He's 20, so that's a bit of a risk, but uh, I really like that skill set he's got, so. And we missed Sebastian Aho, too. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sharipsinov. He actually looks pretty good. Oh, wow, he actually does look really good. Oh, I was going to go get another goalie, but uh, that guy looks pretty good. I was going to go get this guy, Evan Sarthow. Eh, no, 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 not worth it. Let's get this guy. Shripsinov. Okay, sweet, I can still get it. I got, I got four seventh round picks. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't want to trade any of them. Uh, there's no trade off for showing dumb game. Okay, so... Let's see what we got here. Uh, Blake Penner. I was pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get Sarthal, but uh, just looking around. Uh, goalies. Yep. Let's get him. <laughs> here, the other goalie just got drafted. Um, Graham Brown. Defensive defenseman, 20 years old. Doesn't look all that great. Uh, Luzon. Let's just look at player type. Left wing playmaker, right wing sniper, defensive defenseman, or center two way forward. You know, let's let's get a good uh, bottom six forward, two way forward, eighteen years old, Jor uh, Jordan Stallard sounds good. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic. Mitch Skapsky, left wing sniper, twenty years old though. Uh, defensive defenseman, defensive defenseman. There's so many defensive defensemen in this game. <laughs> Colton White, three green stars. He's got a good discipline rating. I like that. <laughs> Somebody to replace Rad Kogudas, who keeps taking 5,000 penalties. Uh, anybody else here that looks good? Baron, 2A Ford Center. Don't have anything on these guys, probably, so. 2A Defender, Defensive Defenseman, Defenseman. 2A <laughs> Ford. I'll take this guy. Is that my last pick? Okay, now I can pick one more. So, who do we got? Mahew. Baron. Okay, let's, uh, no, no, no. Let's search by potential. I don't like doing this normally because, occasion like, if there's, like, two 4.5 guys and you pick the one that's highest, there's a 4.5 guy and then there's a 4 guy that you could possibly get. It. This could be a 4.5 gold and this could be a 4.5 red, a 4 a four red star. But on the other hand, this could be 4.5 red and this could be 4 green, which the 4 green would probably be better to pick up. So I don't want to make any uh, rash, deci rash decisions. It's a shitload of defensive defensemen. Defensive defensemen to a defender. Riley McKinstry. <laughs> It's got white stars, and uh, sure, we'll pick up this guy, Ry Riley McKinstry. There we go. Entry draft is now complete. Here. Uh, I can do the whole off season this time, actually. Um, but let's first see what we got, and yeah, okay. Anyway. 
Uh, Kirkland, no. E uh, no. Gordon Banham. Three green stars, not a bad pickup. Colton White, that was our third, uh, seventh round pick. That's not that great. <laughs> Ethan Bear, uh, 64 overall, 18 years old, 3.5 yellow. He's actually gotten pretty good before, so that might be something to keep. Uh, Matthew Henderson, offense defenseman, 3.5 red. Uh, Riley McKinstry, he's only 52 overall, three, three gold stars, so probably not somebody I want to keep. We got a lot of three green stars, though. 50 overall, just, yeah, a lot of players. <laughs> uh, Jesse Shaw, he's only four red, so... Not a lot of great, not not a lot to hear about. And uh, <laughs> oh yeah, but who was that uh, guy we got? Sam. Holy shit, that was a bad. That was a really bad pick. Forty nine overall, four red stars. This guy's not going anywhere. Oh my god. Okay, still in the search for a back a replacement for Pekarene. Yeah, this guy's not gonna. This, this if this guy turns out to be 85 overall, much less 90, I'm 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 gonna just I'm gonna hang myself because that would be ridiculous. So let's take a look at the top five picks. Uh, Carolina. Carolina got dropped. <laughs> Steven Taylor, sorry, 65. Well, dropped five four and a half gold stars. So. Yep, that's that. And Columbus got Columbus. Columbus got Sam Steele. Oh, wow, that's a good pickup. 71 overall, 3 green stars. That might be a good... <laughs> that's a really good pickup for a 7th round pick. Holy cripes. <laughs> I should have pick up, picked up this guy. I had, I had a pick to do it. Uh, Josh McDonald. Where's he? Sam Steele. There you go. 55 overall. Uh, Detroit got Timpano. It's so awesome that all these are just like in a row. Uh, let's, where did they get this guy? 16th overall pick, that's pretty good. Uh, Highmore, is this a, is he a goalie? Goalie? Is he a goalie? Yeah, four and a half red, uh, gold stars. <laughs> Troy Tempano, not bad. Uh, Calgary got Krinsky, like, look, all, all of these, uh, teams are just, like, in a row. Uh, Krinsky, 54 overall, 18 years old, so a lot of 18 year olds, they're all like, they all like sucking overall, and then Buffalo, like right next to Calgary, jeez, I, I love it, <laughs> Sean Day, 59 overall, 18 years old, 4.5 gold stars, not bad, okay, so that's that, we've taken a look at our top players, the top players of the draft, so we can get on to the resign, so we'll take a look at that uh, players under contract and how much it goes down to Okay, 49, it goes down to, how many do we need to resign? 49 to 30. Okay, that's not too bad, so. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out at the end. After I resign everybody as usual. I'm going, I'm not going to resign any of our draft picks, because I'm not sure what to do with those yet. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll keep them, I'll keep them unsigned until the start of the season, and I'll see what I, I can do with them. So anyway, Chris Kelly... Maybe need to get a better uh, option. So, oops, I forgot. I'm cutting this out. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, yep, I'm gonna cut this out. I'll see you at the end of the resign. I will sign everybody, and then you'll be happy, and then you'll love me, and you'll call me George. So, so long. I will see you after the resign.
three.
Okay, we are back. And we're about to go into the free agency. <laughs> and uh, we got Brian Elliott, P.A. Parento, Marco Testu, Anton Volchenkov, the former Pred. But uh, we don't have cap space, so that's kind of out of the question. And I had to, <laughs> I had to offer Jeff Zatkoff a four-year deal to get him to take as much as he, at the lowest amount he could take. So, yeah. So, anyway... <laughs> Let's let's get on. Ryan Kessler's still free agent. I wonder if, wonder if Anaheim just doesn't have cap space or something. But whatever, we'll have to see this. See how this turns out. We got everybody resigned. Uh, Seth Jones wanted a payday, so that's that kind of strained us a bit. But uh, Chris Kelly kind of helped because uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see what we got here. So Ryan Kessler is on the free agent market. Holy crap! Oh my God, Ryan Kessler. <laughs> 90 for faceoffs. How how much does he want? 6.5 million. <laughs> I could trade I, I could trade Jordan Stahl and pick up this guy. Alex Golagoski, that would be a good defenseman to get. He's got a good offensive stats since uh hold a sec, let me adjust my mic. We are back and holy crap, what a year two free agency. <laughs> You got Ryan Kessler, Alex Golgoski, Jason Demers, Paul Gostad is <laughs> on the free agent market again. I could, uh, yeah, he wants a lot of money though. P.A. Parento. Okay, focus. Ryan Kessler. What I was thinking is putting this guy on the second line, trading Jordan Stahl, because Jordan Stahl's got like a six point, uh, six point something cap hit or something, so I might be able to, I might be able to sign this guy if I traded Jordan Stahl. Anyway, so that's. <clears throat> That's and then obviously you got the Freddie Anderson Anaheim just like must be out of cap or something. Uh, hold on a sec. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted, but I actually do want to check that out. Nashville, let's go to Anaheim. Yeah, they don't have cap at all because they uh, <laughs> yeah, they couldn't uh, sign. <laughs> they got full point nine. They've already had to buy out somebody apparently. It's uh, Gibson like 88, so they don't have a good, def they don't have a backup, but uh, they're not terrible. So anyway, uh, sh I'm not sure. Should I? I'm not sure whether should I. Uh, <laughs> should I just wait? Cause hold on a sec. Let me pull up. Uh, Jordan Stall 6.00 million. So I, I've got the. Uh, I could take on about. Uh, uh, Ryan Kessler just wants like uh, 0.5 million more. I could offer him. Uh, I could offer him actually a good chunk of money if I trade Jordan Stall away, so. Should I wait or should I make the trade? I mean, should I wait to, for like an X video? Oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> like, trade block or trade negotiations. Let's uh, pull up, uh, where is he? Jordan Stall. Anaheim, let's see who can take him. Arizona can take him. Would they want him? I mean, would it be realistic to trade him to them? Uh, Brandon Gormley, that's pretty good for <laughs> four and a third stars. Anyway, goalies. No, I think they're. I think they'd probably still be in a rebuild. They're not very deep. Uh, Boston. That would actually make sense for them, but they don't have uh, the cap space for it. Buffalo, do they have? That would actually make sense for Buffalo, because uh, they don't have a goalie at all, so never mind. <sighs> uh, Calgary. I get to see Calgary taking them on, considering they made the playoffs last year. Goalies, they got Hillers in 87, so Calgary would be a pl uh, team. And besides, they got they got three first, so that, that, makes, that makes a lot of sense for Calgary to take him. Uh, so yeah, I could... I could uh, Send him to Calgary. I could send him back to uh, <laughs> Carolina, but uh, probably not. That's not the. Yeah, Calgary would be a team I would actually be able to maybe get away with trading him to. We could pick up a Sam Bennett, but uh, or a Johnny Goudreau, but I could actually pick up this guy in place of Philip Forsberg or a James Neal or something, but. Yeah, not sure. So, anyways, uh, Jordan Stahl would be actually a good player to give them. So they could they could have a nice one-two punch because their uh, <laughs> their second line center is Matt, uh, Mikhail, yeah, whatever his name is, Mikhail Backlund. So, 
They've got good uh, depth. They got Bill Arnold and Matt Stajan on their bottom two, and then they got uh, David Shore. But uh, still, I think they I think a second line center could help them a lot. So first for a first, I can probably pick up a third with that too. The value is a bit low. Okay. Yeah, this would give me enough for cap space to go after Ryan Kessler and make uh, make make serious run at him, but. Uh, if I can't get Ryan Kessler, I'm screwed. So hopefully, okay, if you sweeten the value. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So Calgary, we traded Jordan Stahl to Calgary. We got one of their first round picks, which actually this uh, that actually made sense. But uh, yeah, that makes that makes sense for them to take that because they, they got three th three first. They uh, I think they made the play. No, they didn't make the playoffs last year, but uh, they got Jonas Jonas Hiller. They got a good uh, young core, so maybe they're ready to move out of that rebuild. So anyway, now I can make a run at Ryan Kessler. Ryan Kessler. Nobody's interested. Okay, I got to offer him the max that I can take. So three years. It's kind of scary, but. Uh, I think that says, sorry, my, my TV doesn't have the greatest stuff, um, resolution when I'm connecting it. Because it's, it's, I had to get this HDMI to, this, uh, AV to HDMI converter, whatever it's called, because, uh, my, my TV is like a dinosaur. It doesn't have an HDMI on it, which the Elgato needs, so I had to get that, but it also decreases video quality, so that's the other downside. So I can't, I think that's an 86, <laughs> still, either way, that's still six, so... And uh, he's got decent offense too, so he can play second line. So that's that's a sick, that's a sick player to go after. And uh, that's kind of funny that uh, Freddie Anderson wants more. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like uh, yeah, like I could have gone for an Alex Goligoski, but uh, I traded away Jordan Stahl to get a second line center, and that's what I'm gonna get. So hopefully we get him. <laughs> God, that my virus again. Okay. So that's all. Uh, oops, oh shit! I want to see if there is any prospects. Uh. <laughs> anyway, so Magyar, any goalies? McDonald, eh, four star. I think it. I think it was four stars. So never mind. No, thank you. And Kessler's only. St we're still the only team interested. Jesus. Anyway, let's focus. We might get him. We might get him. Is Desi sign? Nope, he's still in there. One more day. Can we get him? Bingo! Ryan Kessler is on our team. <laughs> okay, we've got absolutely no cap space. So, <laughs> we've got no freaking cap space. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are, we're, okay, I, I probably just screwed us over for the future, but hey. <laughs> Whatever, we, we might be able to make a run at the, the... I know we just won the cup, but the reason I made this tr made the trade and the signing was that uh, Jordan Stahl wasn't... Jordan Stahl was probably a, a player I would have liked to keep, but uh, I didn't have anybody else I could probably trade away that uh, would have been able to make up for all that stuff. <laughs> I, I'm just, like, blabbering on. Like, if you take a look at our contracts, like, the players I'd want to trade away... Like, you take a look at, uh, like, Ryan Kessler, no, um, where is he, where is he, where is he, Mike Fisher, Mike Fisher, I guess, some, that's somebody I could have traded away instead, uh, and picked up, uh, yes, I'm gonna hold on to Mike Fisher until the end of the season, but we'll have to see. I might see if I can get, uh, Jordan Stahl back, but, uh, I don't really see a realistic trade I can make that would actually make sense. The other reason the Jordan Stahl trade makes sense, made sense for Calgary, though, is because uh, he's only like 27 or 28, I think. Let's go take a look at that. Uh, Calgary. So Jordan Stahl, yeah, he's only 27, so that, that kind of makes sense for him. He's got good defense, which is, his defense is actually better than uh, Ryan Kessler, but Ryan Kessler's got better face-offs. But yeah, he only played one season with us, but he did pretty good. Okay, GM tracker. You know, I'm gonna hold on till to. Actually, hold on a sec. I want to actually see if there's any other uh, free agents I can get. 
Trevor Lewis, like good face-offs type player. Okay, we got who's got good face-offs, 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 face-offs. There we go. Nothing but uh, Darren Olver, who's only 60, 69 overall. His defense is total crap. I see anybody who's got decent overall. Wow. Ryan White. Goalies. Yeah, no, no, no. There's nothing here. <laughs> So maybe I could find a better face-off man, but I'm gonna hold on to I'm gonna hold on to Fisher for now and see what he looks like at the beginning of the season. But yep, let's. <laughs> Brian Elliott is still in the free agent market. Holy crap! I wonder if he's an RFA or something. No, oh, okay, there he goes. Okay, there you go, Travis Mowen. Golden goal against uh, Ottawa in Game Five. Wasn't like an overtime goal, but it was a uh, game winning. <laughs> All the same. Andre Makarov's still up there. It's only 3.5 red, I think, though. Excuse me. Did San Jose trade Patrick Marlowe, or is he just on the block? Yeah, he's just on the block. Okay, <laughs> it's like, oh wow, holy crap. So, oh wow, Devin Saguchi's only uh, 79 overall. Yeah, but the problem with having no cap is we don't uh, we don't have any room, no room whatsoever to sign any depth. Like, jeez, I don't know when the last time I had a uh, no, no cap space. Okay, well, I I always do this. I just want to check out the uh, scouting, do the scouting first, so I don't forget the next time I come. So Ky Kyler 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 Yamamoto. <laughs> Mason Shaw, Goligoski, a lot of centers, holy crap, Nals and Quenville. Yama Shaw, Goli, Nals, Quen. 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 <laughs> Sorry, that's annoying. Yama, Yamamoto and Shaw. And I'll take a look at here. I'm not sure where we're going to end up, so. Yeah. I've just plunged the team into cap hell, but we'll have to see how this team works out, because uh, I do want to bring, um, what's his face back? Jordan Stahl, possibly. Because, <laughs> yeah, so trade negotiations, trade players, like, I, I might be able to trade, like, a Mike, holy crap, he's only 83 now. I might be able to trade, like, a Mike Fisher to Calgary for uh, Jordan Stahl. Uh, plus, plus like a uh, oh wow, Colin Wilson jump, nice. Plus like uh, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Colton Sissons. Okay, I'll okay. I'm kind of ruining at this. I'll take a look at that later. But let's take a look at our progress and all that stuff. So contracts. What do we got here? Anyway, okay. Let's see here. Seth Jones is an 88. That's nice. 90 for passing, hopefully. He's de he's de he's defense is stink. <laughs> Philip Forsberg, I'm still I'm pretty sure he's still statistically up, so that's kind of stupid. Uh, Roman Yosi and uh, holy crap, <laughs> Austin Watson, what a jump! 86 overall, what the fuck? <laughs> How many years? Oh, I only got him for one year, little bastard. <laughs> you knew you were gonna jump. Oh my god, what he's a good skater. His his shot could need could use working on his puck skills are okay. His offense isn't that great, I'll I'll say it, but his defense in his defense in a physical category, those are pretty good. Holy crap. That that really makes Fisher expendable. And then we got uh, Colin Wilson who grew. Ryan Ellis didn't grow, but uh, he's already pretty good anyway. So Colton okay, Colton Sissons is an eighty three. Jesus Christ, so many players are jumping. Like I could trade Colton Sis I could trade uh, Victor Stahlberg away probably now. Um because if you take a look at Colton Sissons versus Victor Stahlberg, yeah, I could probably trade away Victor Stahlberg. I could, I could, I could realistically get uh, Jordan Stahl back. I'd have like a six center core. Like, imagine Kessler, um, Drew Kessler Stahl. We'd have a sick penalty kill. Holy crap! Winnick Bork and then Chris Kelly's down to an eighty. But uh, that was kind of expected. His faceoffs are down a little too. So maybe that that's another person I want to look at, look into trading. Uh, goalies, anybody want to impress me? No. Okay. <laughs> and skaters in the system. Let's see what we got here. 
uh, overall, Ekholm, nothing, like Yarncroc, we don't have a lot here, Taylor Beck, Arvidsson's a 77, Salamaki, yeah, nothing too impressive, Wrestling Fiala's probably not doing much, he's got actually decent offense for 75 overall, but, uh, yeah, not too impressive. So, we're in Cap Hell, <laughs> so, gre greetings... Greetings from Nashville, aka Cap Hell. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Predators fans. We have like no cap space whatsoever, but I promise I'm going to do my best this year. We're gonna, we're we're gonna be a we're gonna be a contender for the next two years before uh, Pekka, Rennie, and Cher Weber start dropping. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.